Now, Nigeria has a significant amount of people burdened with lymphatic filariasis, commonly called elephantiasis. The disease is a neglected tropical disease that affects more than 1 billion people worldwide. Mary Chinda tells the story of Yemisi, a woman in Ibadan, Oyo State capital, suffering from elephantiasis. Viewers' discretion is advised as some of the pictures may be quite disturbing. <laughs> Life seems normal in this little village of Oroyon, Ibadan. But not for Yemisi, who is saddled with a neglected tropical disease, elephantiasis. She's 45, neglected and abandoned. A really pathetic sight. She says she came down with elephantiasis at the age of 15. I have had elephantiasis for 30 years now. I have spent a lot of money on treatment. Whenever I use native herbs on the leg, it subsides. But when it, I stop, it increases. Hungry and lonely Yemisi tells a tale of societal rejection from her husband and brothers. My husband married me in this condition. We have children, but he has abandoned me for another woman. This resilient former trader explains that her only hard cry is to get back on her feet by any means possible, except for the amputation of her legs. I want good health, food to eat, a decent accommodation because I am renting this house. My siblings are tired of assisting me and my condition. I am tired, I am weak. I don't want any oppression. If I die, I will rest. At the moment, there is a ray of hope for Yemisi, as the neglected tropical disease center is offering some medical assistance. It is hoped that the civil society and government will take a quick dive to the rescue of not only Yemisi, but scores of others like her. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa. And joining us live is Plus TV Africa uh, news correspondent Mary Chinda. And also uh, joining in this conversation will be Dr. Olainka Ilesomi. Uh, he's a consultant epidemiologist at UCH Ibadan. Uh, we will be connecting with him also in a bit. Mary, it's good to have you. Good evening. So good to be here again, Amaka. Very powerful story you did there. Tell us about this documentary. How did you find this woman? Okay, so um, the issue of uh, Yemisi came up um, um, when a particular a, a group of people um, decided to take up her case and help her out because um, Yemisi is 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 representative of the hundreds of of cases of elephantiasis that we have in Nigeria that is act that, that actually go neglected um, i must say that um, elephantiasis is actually a parasitic infection it is a tropical it is a neglected tropical disease that right. hasn't been given a lot of attention um, in the country mm -hmm. you know over the years you know so this case came up with a team of doctors trying to say, okay, we're going to help this woman and we're going to use this woman as, you know, uh, as, 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 a, as, a, as one example, one case in point to reach out to the others who have elephantiasis and let's begin to see what we can do to to reach out to other people mm -hmm. who have elephantiasis. All right, we know that Dr. Elisomi is on the line, but before we go to him, uh, Describe to us what you saw, what's her condition, because, I mean, you saw her face to face, you saw where she's living, you saw the reality. Amaka, um, um, Yemis's case is, is a case of, of pain. Anyone living with elephantiasis would go through um, 
emotional rejection. Um, anyone living with elephantiasis would, would go through rejection in itself. It's, it's, it's a very horrible feeling to go mm -hmm. through. And uh, she was married. Her husband married her when she was younger in that condition. She's lived with elephantiasis for 30 whole years. And in the middle of the marriage, she's not getting better. Her husband dumps her, of course, to marry another woman. This is one common string that goes through, um, that, that actually cuts across several people who are living with the condition in the country. The mm -hmm. battle rejection, sometimes their family leaves them, sometimes, you know, um, 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 their husbands, their children leaves, her, leaves them. But Yemisi is, is actually lucky. She has a few of her children still living with her. Most of her children have actually left the house to, to you know, live, live on their own because mm -hmm. the stigma is a lot. Right. Yemisi is an abandoned, almost, let, let's say 80% abandoned woman mm. who is trying to pick up the pieces of her life. And she is strong. Right. She used to own a business. But right now, she, with the state, uh, with the state she is going through with the disease, she can no longer do business. Mm. Thank you very much, Mary, uh, for that powerful story. I can see you're even getting emotional. Yes, uh, I am. Let's connect now to Dr. Ilesomi, who is there on the line. Doctor, good evening. Yeah, good evening. All right, thank you so very much for joining us. Uh, very quickly, we want to get your perspective as an expert and someone who is also familiar with Yemisi's uh, case. What's the situation with Yemisi as at today? Well, as she has said, the people that are going through the same condition, they are usually having stigma, they are also suffering from suboptimal mental states and also recurrent costs of healthcare expenditure because they need to be visiting the hospital on a regular basis to provide care. As she mentioned earlier on, that after taking some medication, she has some relief. And by the time she exhausts her drugs, everything seems to start all over. Mm -hmm. Even though so, those medications do not of the swelling, but the giver, so it is really not a very condition to experience. And in addition to lymphatic filariasis, there are still some other um, neglected tropical diseases in Nigeria. Right. So, and whoever is suffering from this needs a lot of medical attention, the need for a lot of support. All right, which brings me to, to my next question, uh, Dr. Elisomi. As Mary has uh, tried to paint that picture for us as someone who was on ground, you know, who's spent some time with her to be able to file in this powerful documentary, how can EMEC get help? Now, for her to receive help, she needs to visit the hospital. She's been in UCH once. So she has to continue to come to the hospital. And coming to the hospital is not free of charge. Mm -hmm. So that will cost her some amount of money. And in addition to having medication, she has to be reviewed by a group of experts. She was seen in one of the outpatients. So she has to be seen by a group of experts, surgeons, infectious disease experts, and others. So she has to be thoroughly investigated. In addition to lymphatic reactions, there is a possibility that she has some other conditions that she's also struggling with. So all this has to be screened, and there is a need for those experts to come together and decide on what to do that will be best for her. Mm. All right, um, we will still come back to you, Dr. Ilesomi. Uh, Mary, I, I mean, one of the reasons why we do what we do here in Plus TV Africa in telling such compelling stories is that we'll be able to get results and answer for these people. What, what do you hope for EMEC, even as we have brought this story to the fore? Like I recall in that woman's um, state, I feel like shedding tears afresh. She's at a state where she wants to live life again. She wants, she doesn't want to die. She, she, she just wants to live life again. She wants to be able to run her business again. Mm -hmm. And she's at the point where doctors are saying, the only thing we can do for you is amputation. And she told me categorically, I don't want my legs amputated. Amputation is not an option. Is that the only option that is available? Well, that is what the doctors are presenting as a strongest option for her. And mm. for her, the psychological effect of having to lose a leg, which, even though that seems like a 
the best thing they can do right now is a lot. Now, government needs to begin to address the issue of elephantiasis. Yemis is not alone in this case. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, it would shock you that we have cases of elephantiasis that are not even accounted for. There's right. no uh, particular figure that Nigeria is saying, okay, these are the numbers data. that we're dealing with. This is the data that we have. So government needs to come to her rescue. Government needs to begin to, 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 to fully look into the issues and the cases of elephantiasis in Nigeria, in Nigeria. Yemsi and scores right. of persons like her. All right, thank you very much, Mary. I will say hold your thoughts and let's now uh, go back to Dr. Ilesomi. Finally, uh, Dr. Ilesomi, before we let you go, tell us about dealing with elephantiasis in Nigeria, even as Mary has tried to, you know, explain. But we need your, your you know, input as an expert dealing with this kind of situation. Now, in dealing with elephantiasis in Nigeria, there is a need for patients or people that are in the same condition that MEC is having to come to the hospital. There are many of them on the streets. Many of them are begging, sourcing for means of livelihood. So there is a need for them to come to the hospital. As she said earlier, that she has occasional pains. So this may be caused as a result of lymphangitis. Mm -hmm. So when they come, they'll be given drugs. And then um, there is also um, general measure in caring for this, hygienic measure, washing of the limb, elevating the limb as necessary. But all these, to, you know, regardless of how much it costs some money, it's not free of charge. Even we sit in the hospital. Let me quickly just money. ask you. And doctor, for those with uh, hydrocells, they also need surgery. Right. She mentioned earlier that she was told that amputation is the next line of management. Well, to say that she has to be reviewed by surgeons. Doctor, those who are is, going is to elephantiasis those preventable, to if you can hear me? Very quickly, is this condition preventable? Well, she has it already. So she, what she needs now is management of the condition. But okay. for those who have it, there are, th there are things to be done. There are drugs that can be used to relieve the pain, even though the drugs will not reduce the mass. Mm -hmm. So, but for those who don't have it, part of the things they need to do to prevent is to avoid mosquito bites. Oh. Because mosquito is the known vector for mm -hmm. lymphatic filariasis. It carries the parasites. Right. And when a person Dr. that is Lainka, infected is bitten, we and may the have same mosquito... To leave it there. Dr. Olayinka, we may have to leave it there in the interest of time. Thank you so very much for your time and for bringing more insight to this matter. And of course, our very own Mary Chinda, thank you for thank telling you so much, that powerful story. Thank you.